Here it is, right here. 42, what are you talking about? 40, oh, yeah, no, the locks keep pricing. Oh, yeah, you had to cover that up. Yes, welcome to, uh, you can't get anything shipped over. <laughs> a stump in there, and that's why you're really hiring an artist. This is Nick, our new guy. Our new guy built this one. Really? Yeah. Kept him away from Sean, huh? Oh, hey, Sean. Hey, Greg, somebody <laughs> wants a selfie with you. Big Hi. Guy. Oh, Hi, I love it. You have pricing. <laughs> All the prices just have a piece of tape on them right now, because you can't keep up with COVID increases. Correct. By the way, just look at this place. How cool and inspirational of a garden center is this? So what year is this for you at Earthworks, Mark? You're 33. Get out while you can, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Home sweet home. Man, it's a busy road, buddy. It is. We've got about 80,000 cars that pass us a day. Wow. Okay, so you guys are in for a real treat. This is Earthworks down in Jacksonville, Florida. Most of your customers come here and see what your workmanship is like, right? Yes. Yeah, I think we have roughly around 12 to 15 different types of water features. <laughs> okay. You're in for a real treat. 12 to 15 different types of water features. You know when you wear your pooch out, it's been a good day. Yeah, he wore out. <laughs> 2013 Aquascape Certified Contractor of the Year, 2019 Businessman of the Year, and this is Jason's place. It's truly amazing. So, okay, you do this tour all the time for people. Pretend I'm a potential customer of Earthworks and I'm interested in water features and take us through the tour, buddy. Yep, so we'll do a little backwards. We typically are inside presenting to a customer, then we walk out. Well, let's go inside. Backwards. Like, I'm not trying to mess up your system, bro. Guys. Good afternoon. Doug, I haven't seen you in a while. What are you running marathons? You're looking skinny there, bro. Sean, I thought you were out in the field making money. What are you doing in here? I swear this dog Okay. <laughs> Hi, Rhonda. How are you, Greg? Good. So is it just you, Greg? It's just me today. All right, Jason, how does this go? By the way, just look at this place. How cool and inspirational of a garden center is this? I wish I had these in Chicago. I don't think I got one this nice in Chicago. Certainly not one with this many water features. All right, what are we starting in the bathroom? <laughs> Hi, ladies. Yeah, we start in the conference room. Okay, so that you've been to our house once, then you come in here and you make sure they sit. All your top frog awards. Can't fit them all. <laughs> they can't fit them all. Yeah, it's crazy. We start here, then we go outside, then we show them all the water features. So. Okay. They get their first look when they come out. They get the wow with the big pond. Most of all water features have a name. This pond is Turtle Bay. Turtle Bay, I like it. Oh, look at a fish, too, wow. Gorgeous, my gosh, never gets old for me. Beautiful butterfly koi, some ogons in there. And all of these are new koi this year because you had an otter, an otter that came in and decimated a couple of these ponds. But wow, I love that red bridge there. Look at a dog. Look at Ricky Bobby. What is Ricky Bobby doing? Trying to eat something. What are you doing, Ricky Bobby? Trying to eat a weed. <laughs> so yeah, Turtle Bay, we walk them out, they see this. Now they've seen, oh my God, what? 60,000, 70,000? Sure, we go, they oh, no, pond. We got all kinds of options. Sure. Come on back. Come or, or sometimes they're like, give me this. Exactly. Here it is right here. 42, what are you talking about? 40, oh, yeah, no, the locks keep pricing. Oh, yeah, you had to cover that up. Yes, welcome to, uh, you can't get anything shipped over. <laughs> How I love the fish though. Turtle Bay, 20 by 20 foot pond, okay. Yeah, this has two skimmers. This one's got wetland filter because it's over 3,500 gallons of water. That's the old classic grande bio yeah. that's still up there. Yes, so yes, yes. What do you got, like six acres here? We have three. Okay, three and then acres. three in the other place, right? Four to the other place. Okay, Correct. so yep. seven acres, three here and four we there. We had to kick out the construction crew. This is just strictly retail right. um, and sales purposes. You have to cover these so because of that otter, huh? Uh, it's the herons too, so the herons will get filmed. We don't have a built-in house like a lot of retailers have. At the end of the day, they get covered up. At the end of the day, they'll get uncovered. So sure. We then pull them around here just to make sure they notice that we actually sell fish as well. And then we roll up to our 11 by 16 pond, which is around the 20, 22,000 range. So tranquil. So what's cool about this one, Greg, yeah. is all the fish that got eaten in this one, they've had babies, little baby fry. They were in here, and that's what's left. Of oh, the, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there's some hiding right now, obviously. It's called Life Will Go On, Jurassic Park. Correct. And this is our dragonfly pond. Blue wave 
Gorgeous. DIY on this waterfall. You have pricing. <laughs> All the prices just have a piece of tape on them right now because you can't keep up with COVID increases. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same with Aquascape. It's just, just crazy. I, I, but I made the realization actually this weekend. I just got to make new pricing, if, even if it's every two weeks or whatever it is, because it's just actually very hard for consumers. They need a price. Yes. You have to show what it is. That's why we show on this channel. I hope you guys like that on this channel. But look at the artistry. So look at all the little lizards too. We don't get those in Chicago. That is for sure. A stump in there. And that's why you're really hiring an artist. This is Nick, our new guy. Our new guy built this one. Really? Kept yeah. him away from Sean, huh? Oh, hey, Sean. Hey, Greg. Somebody <laughs> wants a selfie with you. Hey, Hi. Oh, Hi. I love it. Anytime a beautiful woman wants a picture with me. <laughs> Hello. There you go. And then the... I realized we worked with Aquascape, and I was like, no way. Okay, so you just, you're just you into the hobby? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm a marine biologist, actually. Oh, that's cool. Yes. Cheyenne, do you have a pond? I don't. I live in an apartment. Okay. Yeah. But a marine biologist, so what do you do here? I work with plants. Give info about good benefits of bacteria. And How long have you been on the team? Going on two years. Good for you. February. Get this girl the yeah. pandemonium in Chicago. There you go. <laughs> well, what a fun place to work, yes, right? I love it here. That's good. Well, thank you, Cheyenne. Nice to meet you. So what year is this for you and Earthworks, Mark? You're 33. Get out while you can, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta be pretty impressed with your partner here. He's the one that really brought Aquascapes and did a great job bringing Aquascapes into Earthworks. And now he's a partner. He's also our accountability. He's the young, tough guy. I thought you said you're up 10 pounds. <laughs> All right, so this is the island. So if you ever have a, a chance you're doing display area, one of the best things you can do is put a big fat mound of dirt right in the middle and build multiple water features off. When you're doing a retail nursery, every square inch counts for sellable space. So we have the dragonfly we talked about. We have the spillway bowls, the DIY called the creek. We named it Creek. Mountain Falls, this is the next one here. Um, I think this one's roughly around a 15 or $16,000 pumice waterfall. These are all built into this beautifully landscaped just berm. Then after that, we've got Rocky River, just a, sm a little smaller price difference. This currently is about eleven dollars or $12,000 upon this waterfall. It's a two-day install, five aqua blocks, spillway. And the last one in the island is Frog Hollow, and Frog Hollow is roughly around a $12,000 8x12 punt. If it's a perfect day like today, we actually will do the review at this spot here in the pergola area. It's perfect because as we're talking about things, we can point outdoor kitchen, the water feature, you know, customized pavers, fire pit area, seating benches, so on and so forth. So this whole entire area is our landscape display area, not retail. And lastly, we have two more or three more water features out front and then our big display out in front of the building. So right here as we're walking in, we've got the basalt column set up. Retail, of course, sold one of the three columns. So we're gonna have to rebuild this guy. But yeah, just availability of getting these is tough. So that's our basalt columns. Back towards the front as well, We've got a large stack slate urn to display, one working with a 2000 Ultra, just to show what that looks like. So they have the regular flow. At the front, we've got this really cool triple stack slate sphere. This we decided to put at the front, right by the parking lot. So every single person coming in can see it because it's definitely a hot item this year. And uh, nursery staff here gets asked constantly, hey, how much does that cost? Hey, how much does that cost? So we've got that set up. This one's actually set up a little different. We actually have 15 aqua blocks underneath it, large aqua blocks, just to have that water storage because there's definitely a lot of evaporation with as much moving water as there. Then our smallest pond, Tadpole Springs. Tadpole Springs here goes for, I think, around $6,400. It has just some upgraded goldfish in it. Six by eight pond. It's kind of the smallest pond we put in, even though you can do a smaller DIY one. And this actually is a really fun area. This is where we do our build upon workshop every single year. It's the reason I put it here because every single year I can quadrant off or, or square off a couple um, parking spots so we can put tents, chairs, and this is where we build on a Saturday every single spring. We rip this out and rebuild it, put a new one in because we're also the retail, not just contractors. If you want to see what something more customized looks like, we take people out on a little longer journey out to the front where they can see like our mammoth. This is like what they did at the Q Center, a lot of mimicking off of that. Multiple stack slate urns, bowls, basalt columns, rock waterfalls. It's awesome. And the last one we have, we call it the elegance entrance or entrance elegance. It's basically a customized water wall with some bowls. So as people are walking in, they know right away because they see all this water moving and running. They know right away that we are a water garden company 
and they come in and as soon as they turn all customers have access right away to fish food, pond products, pumps, so on and so forth. So this has changed a few times in a few iterations out here. Yep, and when the apartments went in, we basically redesigned this entire thing to reflect what we can do around it. And just wanted this to be a 360 degree look. So we're capturing 80,000 cars a day passing wow. this. Wow. Yeah. And when this thing's color lit up at night with some lights here, it's just changed. There's nothing that you could put out front of a building that would have more curb appeal, whether it was a garden center or a restaurant, entranceway to a subdivision. It's just the same thing we put in someone's backyard, just more of it. Correct. What I love about coming out to places like this is it's inspiration. And I think that more people need to be able to physically see water features. Whenever you're gonna get a water feature, make sure that you visit a water feature or two. The kind that's gonna build your pond, go to their house and see it. But you know, the fact that this has what, 15, 16, 17 different water features at it, they're all priced on them. Although the prices aren't on them right now, but they're all priced on them so people can know what they're getting. That's the goal of my channel. My goal of my channel is so that people not only get inspired to live the aquascape lifestyle, but they can figure out the best ways to live the aquascape lifestyle. And the price is an important part because you have to figure out what your budget's gonna be. Hey, if you guys like these videos, please like, comment, and share them so more people can see what living the aquascape lifestyle is all about. I truly do love my job.